AMC Nets Rye Crisp standing beside an $800 top freezer from GE, model number GTE18GMHES. Now the interesting thing here at first glance is this slate finish, this kind of gray build that isn't quite stainless steel, isn't white or black, it's in between. This would blend in with a lot of different decors, so I like that about this fridge. I also like these handles, nice and sturdy stainless steel, gives it a premium feel as you open and close it. And if you take a look inside, you'll find two subtle things that separate this fridge from cheaper top freezer models that GE offers. The first is the shelving. You've got glass spill-proof shelving there. It's a nice, slightly higher end approach than the wire racks that you'll get with the bottom of the barrel models. Second, you get humidity controls down on the crisper bins. You don't get that with the cheaper top freezer models that GE sells. Now, all in all, I came away pretty impressed with this refrigerator's performance. The cooling ability is a little up and down. It's going to have some temperature fluctuations, and that's common for a low-end fridge, but it did average out right where we wanted it. Take a look at this heat map. This shows the average temperatures across different regions of the interior of the fridge and in the door and in the freezer, and you can see those fridge temps are all nice and consistent, and even in the doors you're not getting any weird hot spots, so overall the performance is pretty good here. I was also happy with the capacity that I got out of this fridge. It's only 28 inches wide, it's kind of intended for smaller kitchens, maybe an apartment, but you still get a good deal of space inside of it. We were able to fit our entire test load of groceries into the fridge and still have room left over for a party platter, a large pitcher, almost were able to fit an extra large pizza, though the fridge wouldn't quite close, not quite deep enough. The bottom line is that it's kind of tough to find a fridge for less than $1,000 that doesn't look like a cheap piece of tin. This one gets the job done and the performance is on point, so for $800, I think you can do a lot worse. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of our reviews at CNET.com along with the full review of this guy. For CNET Appliances, I'm Ry Christ.